Barbara Streisand pays her regards to Broadway, and fans pay their regards at the cash register. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Showbiz Today. Barbara Streisand is the talk of the music industry today. CNN's Paul Verkamen reports her new album, Back to Broadway, is taking her back to the top. Careful before you say, listen to me. Political fundraisers aside, America is hearing Barbara Streisand loud, clear, and often. Streisand's new release, Back to Broadway, with an advance order of one million units, will hit the Billboard Pop Album charts at number one next week. That's based on sales this week. It's rare, but it's not unusual. I mean, uh, we, we have uh, uh, films like Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin, which essentially are new songs built on a, a traditional uh, uh, Broadway or Tin Pan Alley basis. So. Uh, the, uh, the public is uh, still uh, uh, attracted to this kind of material. The Columbia Records release features a duet from West Side Story with Johnny Mathis. Barbara is very dedicated and she's very determined and, uh, and she, gets, uh, she gets the job done. Her music is... Uh, is the best music. She sings the best music. And of course, she's, uh, her voice is, uh, is a national treasure. Janet Jackson's recording Janet held the top spot on Billboard's charts for six weeks before Barbara bumped her. Back to Broadway is Barbara's first album to debut in the Billboard top spot, seventh number one album overall, and the first chart topper since her The Broadway album in 1985. The follow-up offers songs from Phantom of the Opera, Guys and Dolls, and other stage favorites. David Foster, who produced many of the songs, believes the record plays to Barbara's strengths. So it's her Broadway material, you know, material that she's loved over the years. And she just quite honestly is, that's her thing, you know, I mean, she just does it so, she does everything well, but this in particular, she does really well. Can adult tastes keep Barbara at the top of Billboard's charts? Or will you 2 fans gobble up copies of Island Records release Zuropa and send it over the top? Streisand's fans don't seem to care because for now, she's not only like Butta, she's churned out a number one album. Paul Verkamen, CNN Entertainment News, Hall It just so happens that today we are at one of the biggest events of the year. It's the annual Commitment to Life show, which is a benefit for AIDS Project Los Angeles, better known as APLA. The evening is being produced by Elton John's partner, Bernie Taupin, and such stars are performing here tonight to name just a few as Elton himself, Liza Minnelli, Shirley MacLaine, Billy Joel, Johnny Mathis, and in a rare performance, one of the greatest superstars of Everybody always wants to perform it, but more than that, in this particular instance, it's resonant, because West Side Story is a show about intolerance, and it's about the, the tragic consequences of bigotry. It's about two people who have a love that they can't tell their families, and a great unspoken love, which certainly is resonant for a lot of gay people who are going to be in the audience tonight. Although the tickets were priced at between $50 and $1,000, they sold out within hours. All the vast array of performers were told that there are no stars here. Everyone's here for the same cause. Are you starstruck? Well, yeah, I think so. You know? <laughs> I mean, just getting to, getting to rehearse and to get to hang out and get to meet everybody. Uh, it's, you know, it's really great. As well as raising money for the charity, the show was also to honor music mogul David Geffen and Barbara Streisand for the work they've done for AIDS. Well, this is about life and death, and this is about life and death for a lot of people. 160,000 people in the United States have died already, and a million people are infected. And 
it's all that I have, right or wrong, what else can I do? I
and that we care about you and we embrace you. Ha! <laughs>